Hello, Awesomers. It's me, Steve Simonson, and I'm coming to you again with another ad hoc episode of the Awesomers.com podcast series. And this is episode number 135, actually, in our, our long-running series. And uh, today I want to just take a minute. It's, I've had trouble keeping up trying to uh, record because I've been on the road. I went to Costa Rica, then I went to Las Vegas. Uh, no, San Diego. Next week I go to Las Vegas. The week after that, uh, Prague. And all of these, I'm, I'm doing meetups and, and hanging out with really smart entrepreneurs, uh, awesomers in my world. And they're, you know, a lot of these sellers come from all different walks of life. They're Amazon sellers, both big and small, experienced and inexperienced. And I even went to a meetup uh, in Seattle recently. And, and we had everybody from really long-term sellers there, people from 20 years uh, in the business, uh, selling online, that is all the way to brand new people who haven't quite launched their first product or have only been in the business over a period of months. And so it's always uh, fun to reflect on what that journey is like for everybody. And I just want to share just a couple ideas with you today uh, that I have, uh, and mostly to tell you kind of where I am going to be and what I'm going to be doing um, uh, in these coming weeks and months. So my time actually is extraordinarily oppressed, and I blame myself, frankly. Uh, I keep saying yes to things when I probably should say no. Uh, and that's part of, uh, if you think back to the strengths-based leadership uh, episode that I did uh, several months back, uh, you'll recall that one of my strengths that I believe I disclosed that I had, and I put strengths in air quotes for those who can't see me, uh, is the strength of responsibility. Uh, the downside of responsibility is that I will say yes to almost anything that I think that will help somebody. And I will almost kill myself to get that job done. And so I, the dark side of responsibility is that aspect that I just covered. And it's, it's a real part of my life right now. So I want to just uh, kind of confess that I'm struggling with that. And it's been difficult for me to get it under control. But I'm trying. And uh, if you want to learn more about the strengths-based leadership philosophy and and why I think it's one of the most critical things you can do for culture, go ahead to awesomers.com slash 18, and you can hear my book of the week review on strengths-based leadership. Now, because this is episode number 135 today, you can go to awesomers.com slash 135 to see any show notes uh, about today's podcast episode. Now, I, I want to tell you a couple things. First of all, if you haven't already uh, considered joining Empowery, please go to empowery.org, empowery.org, and just self-select. Are you a seller? Are you a vendor? Or are you an influencer? Do you have your own community? And this will allow you to kind of get exposed to Empowery and learn a little bit more about what the co-op is and, uh, and what its mission is. I, I have very dear friends and close friends, and they say, Steve, we're hearing you talk about empowering. We just don't get it. We don't understand. And I, I just want to tell you guys that in simple terms, empowering is, uh, it's kind of a bunch of things rolled into one, but any single one of these things is worth the price of admission. So one of the things is you're no longer alone. Empowering is your, is your community, your backstop, and we kind of have like a corporate office that you can contact for help. Now, this doesn't mean, you know, if you say, hey, I need you to type in some data into a spreadsheet that we're on, your, on the job for you. That's not what it's about. But it does mean that if you're saying, hey, I've got this problem with a freight forwarder, I've got this issue with Amazon, do we have any resources in Empower that can help us with that? It gives you that phone a friend option, right? If you uh, ever played uh, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? I think that was the game. Anyway. In this case, you can contact, you go to empowery.com slash contact and just say, hey, I'm, I've got this problem or I, I have this question, how would you guys handle it? And then our team, which is full-time working for Empowery members, runs around trying to figure out, do we already have an answer? Do we need to find an answer? Is this just some crazy uh, lunatic who's posting messages on the internet that we should ignore? There's a lot of options, really. And the point being that instead of being alone, you actually have like a corporate office. The monthly dues in Power are only $250 a month, and just having somebody to call who provides vetted resources for you is extraordinary value, and that alone is worth the price of admission. So continuing on this community bucket, Empowery also has monthly calls for shareholders. So there are different levels of membership. 
bronze is a non-shareholder level, and silver and up are all shareholder levels. The shareholders get a, a monthly meeting that is, in this case, it's usually a couple hours plus of content where we cover kind of marketing, finance, and operations, big picture issues, as well as news items or other uh, noteworthy items of business for the members, including voting on board members or other types of administrative business that they that the uh, co-op members need to be aware of. So that, again, that alone drops value bomb after value bomb and techniques after techniques is worth the price of admission. Last night, uh, we had one of those calls and we shared uh, a tip in finance that can save each person at least ten to $20,000 a year just by making some financial twists and, and some changes in their tax uh, filing status and methodology where instinctively they think, no, this is worse for me, but if you actually run the numbers, it's better for you. And again, to the tune of ten dollars to $20,000 a year. Uh, we shared another example in the operations side where one of our members shared some very transparent and deep insights to his sourcing where he was able to save a dollar per unit on the sourcing side. And by the way, he does about 100,000 units of this a year and a dollar per unit on the fulfillment side at Amazon. Again, same 100,000 units, that's $200,000 of savings he's able to save by the tips and the techniques. So the idea of 250 bucks a month is a Scooby snack that is well worth uh, the money and that's part of an empowering benefit. And then of course, within the community, there are secret Facebook groups for the shareholders to communicate with each other. There will be additional things like Slack channels and message boards that you have access to and lots of content that you can log in and see the archives. Now, I know I'm talking about Empower a lot here to Osmers, but it's because I believe in it. The other thing to know about Empower is it is a nonprofit, member owned cooperative. The cooperative is an actual business structure. This is uh, just like an LLC or a C corporation or a sole proprietor, it's a type of business entity. And that means it comes with rules and regulations about how the, uh, the program works. And as a cooperative, the members own the cooperative. Each member owns one share. And for me to be a member, I bought one share just like everybody else. So I'm not asking anybody to do anything that I'm not willing to do. And in fact, I'm, I'm kind of paying the bills until Empowery is big enough to break even. So uh, the, the, that's enough on the community. The, the other piece of it that I want you to recognize is that it's like a buying group. So those vetted um, contractors or, or vendors, I should say, those vetted resources, are already extraordinarily valuable on their own. You know, I always like to say, I got a guy. And Empowery is the personification of me having a guy, right? I have a resource. It doesn't matter, man, woman, uh, company, corporation, or otherwise. I usually have a solution to a problem, and we're trying to get as many of those into Empowery as we can so that it can help everybody in a systemic way. So that's fine on the community side. Well, on the buying group side of it, this is where you get a financial benefit because you get upfront discounts most of the time, not all the time, but most of the time. You get a, a value added perk pack at no extra cost. Things like longer trial periods or more uh, credits or more units per dollar than anybody else. Those perks are really awesome. And then shareholders get cash back as well. In cash back alone, you should be able to earn more than $250 a month by using resources that you already need to use and uh, on an ongoing basis will use anyway in your business. So why not earn a little cash back and absorb some of those discounts, get the benefit of those, and you'll save far more than the, the price of admission. So on a buying group basis, it's a financially, not just neutral potential for you, right? You can neutralize all the costs, which is cool enough, and you get all the benefits, but you can actually get paid to be a member when you do it right. And it's, it's the members who actually invest the time to focus on getting uh, set up and getting orchestrated with these uh, vendors and suppliers, that's how you get the maximum benefit. So that's the financial piece. The other piece is the influence piece. And we've talked about this from time to time. Uh, we use the example of the empowery.com slash Dear John project, uh, the empowery.com slash, I think it was uh, Amazon cheat. Let's just check it. Uh, I don't want to tell you the wrong URL. So if you go to empowery.com slash dear John, you're going to see one um, example of, you know, messages that you can, we'll try to communicate to Amazon and, ex, you know, explain why you're breaking up with Amazon. 
that's an example of lobbying or influence that we can have as a group. Uh, if you go to empowery.com slash cheat, this is where we were coordinating with some media talking about our concerns related to Amazon knocking off your product. Um, there are other initiatives we've taken in cooperation with the Online Merchants Guild regarding sales tax in the state of California and beyond. And this kind of lobbying and community effort is really to focus our efforts at generating positive change for e-commerce entrepreneurs around the world. So the larger we grow, the more influence we have, the more we can go to you know, Walmart or Amazon or Target and say, hey, we want to put our members in your new program, Target. Target right now has a new marketplace. I don't know if you know that. But it's only open to curated sellers. What if we get large enough and we can go lobby Target and say, hey, let our sellers in who pass these certain criteria. Uh, usually it's a technology and a size criteria. But as a group, we can probably help overcome those things. So I'm talking really fast today. This is how you can tell I'm excited about something. So that's kind of what Empower is. And any one of those individually is worth the price of admission and then some, I think, delivering overwhelming value. But the fact that you get all of those baked into the package is really, really extraordinary. You can go to empowery.org and, and follow uh, the lines of um, you know, opt-ins there and get more information. I really, really encourage you guys to get in the game. Uh, and I also want to make you aware of the Empowery, uh, empowery.org slash 2019-seattle-summit. If you go to that URL, you will find we're having an event in May. And I really want to invite you to come on out. Uh, you can buy either a general admission ticket, which covers your first two days, or the full-fledged VIP ticket that covers the first two days, including special dinners, VIP dinners at night, uh, off-site, as well as a third-day mastermind. And I, you know, uh, I will tell you that I expect the ROI on this to be extraordinary. You know, you're paying a small amount of money and getting a huge amount of benefits. And if you put any one, any single idea into play, whether it comes from the speakers, whether it comes from the trainers, uh, or whether it comes from your, your colleagues and other attendees, I think you will get an experience, what I like to deliver, which is overwhelming value. Uh, it's going to be in the newest, coolest uh, venue in the greater Seattle area. It is so totally awesome. Uh, I think the people are going to love it. I think they'll be blown away by it. And this is of the caliber of event that we do for our Catalyst88.com mastermind, which is a $25,000 a year minimum uh, to get into. Uh, and so I want you to know that this is a highly produced event. Uh, not, not, don't look for bells and whistles and people dancing on stages. Look for quality content that is back-to-back, -back, packed in, and filled with the spirit of abundance, whether it comes to you know, food or drinks or whatever else. So I'm, I'm a big fan of people seeing each other face-to-face. -face. When you see each other and you talk about things, you know, body language is more than half of communication. And so even listen to me on this podcast, if you're not watching the, the video version, you can't see my arms flying around and me animating myself, but you can kind of feel it in my voice a little bit. Body language actually uh, communicates even more to people, and I want to reiterate that, and that's why getting together from time to time is really valuable. So I really want you to go. We will sell out. There's not the, enough seats. This is not a multi-thousand person or even multi-hundred person event. This is a, you know... Uh, 50 to 60, 70 person. We might be able to stretch a little bit beyond that, but um, it's going to be extraordinary. And you have a chance to meet with some key vendors that can change your business for the better, um, you know, during and right after the event. Actionable steps. I'm totally into this. So um, I, I do want to make you aware that, you know, I, I really do believe and I love entrepreneurs. I, I think I've you know, delivered now, you know, 100 plus hours of free content on Awesomers and in other venues as well. I speak at uh, events regularly at no cost to uh, the event holders. Uh, sometimes I pay for my plane ticket or what have you, sometimes even my hotel. But my time is far more valuable than anything I'm charging. In fact, to Fortune 500 companies, I charge upwards of $50,000 a day for my time. And here I am on the podcast uh, talking to you and there I go to Empowery. I'm a volunteer there. I don't uh, draw a salary. I make no money off of it. 
as I said earlier in the podcast, I actually cover the, any deficits that Empowery has because we don't want to put deficits on members. I'm trying to support it and be the patron until it can support itself. And that's my uh, dream and my vision, and it will happen here in 2019. So all of this has been about Empowery and how it can help you. And so I don't want you to get it uh, twisted. This is not the Empowery podcast now, but this event and these efforts are something I feel really strongly about. And I want to just take a moment on this episode and make a recording and talk to you about it in my own words, in my own way, uh, without distracting us with uh, PowerPoints or anything else. It's, this is just something I truly believe in. And I think in 10 years, you know, in 10 years, we have the potential to make a huge impact on this industry. Uh, in the Catalyst 88 Mastermind, when we were developing this idea of the cooperative, we asked some of the members, we said, hey, imagine in 10 years, what are some of the headlines that you would see? And guys came back with just extraordinary vision and extraordinary headlines. Things like, you know, um, Empowery uh, brings Amazon to its knees, you know, back to the bargaining table after Empowery you know, uh, flexes its muscles. And, you know, the, the vision behind that was, you know, hey, instead of Amazon always running the table on us, what if we could at least be a partner at the table? Uh, and as much as I love Amazon for, you know, 49% of what they do, there's 49% of what they do on the negative side that I don't like, and 1% is up for grabs. Uh, it's still neutral. Uh, there's, you know, nearly half of what they do I, I love, and another half, not so much, maybe it's 2% that's up for grabs. I can't do math. Uh, the point being, I try to be a very fair um, outsider to Amazon. I, I tell you all the positive things they're doing and the lives are, they're changing, but I also tell you the parts where they need to get better. And, uh, and I, I try to support their efforts to get better as well. So anyway, as Amazon sellers, as e-commerce sellers, as just awesomers, maybe, you, maybe you're just thinking about uh, joining the, the fray or you have some other idea. You Maybe you're an author. Anybody who's creating and ideating, I can just tell you, you're welcome here at Awesomers, and uh, we're all about trying to figure out how to make life better. So thank you very much for your time. Don't forget, this is episode 135. So just go to awesomers.com slash 135, and we'll try to post some links and notes. I'll be honest, because of time compression, there's, we're not overbuilding these pages. We're not doing show transcripts or anything like that at the moment. We're just trying to you know, get this uh, content live and available to you in the cl cleanest and simplest format that we can without spending too much money or time. And I hope you understand that uh, requirement. Uh, if, if you're still listening, I, I ask you to do me a favor. If you haven't already, please go subscribe on iTunes or your favorite podcasting uh, listening device, whatever it is. And go ahead and please uh, leave a review. And I'm not too ashamed to say I deserve five stars. <laughs> oh, please, I need five stars. Um, the, the reviews plus subscriptions are what drive all of these platforms for rankings, right? And it's just like an Amazon product. If we get more reviews and more subscriptions, that shows interest, that shows you know a trend. And places like iTunes or Google Play or Shopify or wherever, they will start to rank that higher and get it more organic exposure. Anybody understands this if you're trying to rank your products or rank your pages on Google, products on Amazon, et cetera, et cetera. So anyway, uh, do me a favor. Uh, I'm, I ain't too proud to make. Uh, you know, uh, I, I definitely hope that we're earning it, and, uh, and I certainly welcome your feedback. You can go to awesomers.com slash contact, and we check those messages from time to time, but we do check them, and I read every review I see on iTunes. So thanks again, everybody. Awesomers.com slash 135. I appreciate you, and uh, we'll see you next time.